afternoon where we will be addressed by the Commissioner of Police, Mr. Darren Simons, with regard to some ongoing troubling social media posts that are causing a, a bit of a problem and uh, some concern within the community. Commissioner. And um, good afternoon. The Bermuda Police Service is aware of a number of social media posts accusing individuals of providing information which may have led to criminals being incarcerated. In the strongest possible terms, I condemn this activity. It is dangerous and has the propensity to put the lives of individuals at risk, all the more if the information is wrong. An individual has been identified that we believe is, is responsible for these posts, and steps are being taken at various levels, both locally and internationally, to address the situation and have the posts withdrawn. Rest assured, the BPS has systems in place to protect the identity of members of the public who do, who do the right thing in assisting us to provide closure to families whose loved ones have become the victims of violent crime. This system is so strict that not even I, as the Commissioner of Police, is normally privy to information regarding the identities of individuals who cooperate with police investigations. In terms of protecting members of the public or people themselves, we have very robust systems in place to assist those who help us bring criminals to justice. And this ranges from things like giving advice to putting safety plans in place at the very lower end, to the prosecution of um, witnesses for intimidation or the prosecution for witness intimidation, and if required, where individuals give evidence in court, at the very upper end, we have witness protection. I wish to assure the public that any information they provide to the police is treated with the strictest of confidence. And the BPS advises that if you should receive any of these posts or, or accompanying images, that you delete them and don't share them. Sharing them only further jeopardizes a person's life, especially if that information is wrong. The reality is people can only have two views on this matter. One, from a place that loves Bermuda and wants to see the best for her and abhors these types of posts and all they represent. The other, from a place that doesn't care or they don't care about who they hurt. Frankly, there is no middle ground. To be clear, the actions of this individual impacts all of us, and apathy is clearly a step in the wrong direction. Thank you very much, and I'm happy to take any questions um, that the media might have. Hi, good afternoon, Commissioner. Good afternoon. Uh, Patterson from Bermuda Broadcast TV. Um, thanks for your comments. Um, obviously, I, I take it that you're not sharing the details of this post. No. Not to, uh, yeah not to in inflame the situation or draw any more attention, other than to just make the point um, that one, we take this um, very seriously. We think the, the actions are entirely inappropriate and harmful. Um, can you uh, elaborate on who may be, um, where these posts may be originating from, whether it's an individual or a person in the media? So uh, just in, in broad terms, we believe uh, individuals uh, not resident to Bermuda are responsible for these posts. Not with the individual responsible, I certainly, uh, that we believe is responsible. Certainly at this point in time, it's really about uh, removing the, 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 the post and uh, examining a range of offenses that may or may not have been committed that. And just, you know, we're working um, both locally and internationally, um, you know, to address the matter. Um, you talked there about work locally and internationally um, to try to remove the content. Have the social media hosts such as Instagram and TikTok been contacted and, and what efforts have you made there? Yep, so we've done that and in, certainly in the initial instance um, some of the posts have been removed. Uh, it, it, I think there's a bit of ongoing, so it's a, it's a constant sort of um, checking back with the service provider to get any new um, posts um, um, removed and, and working with them to identify individuals from uh, an evidential perspective. Sure. And do you think there's more than one individual responsible for this? 
We're not sure. Uh, there's definitely uh, at least an individual is, 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 we believe is responsible at this moment in time. Has anyone been arrested or brought in for questioning? No, not at this point in time, no. And are you, if it's someone that's overseas, are you working with counterparts in the UK, the US? In, uh, yes, in, uh, <laughs> internationally. We're working with international law enforcement partners and service providers um, to, to address this situation, definitely. Are you elsewhere? No. Um, with regards to the individuals shown in the content, photographs and videos, etc., have you contacted them directly? Um, so there are some efforts um, around that under underway, um, and that's probably the best I can I can say in relation to that. Um, you mentioned with regards to whether or not some of the information is correct or incorrect. Is some of the information that has been published incorrect? You believe? Uh, I do believe that there's room for error, and some of it, you know, may have come as a result of, of uh, court uh, matters. Um, and with regards to some of that content, one item would to be perhaps a witness statement, some sort of official document. Are there concerns that information has been leaked either from the Bermuda Police Service or court officials? So bear in mind that in every particular case, there is disclosure that takes place. So before uh, a case um, comes to court, um, basically the entire prosecution file uh, is shared with the defense. So uh, a number of statements are, will have left um, police possession every time there's a trial. So it's hard to see the origin? Say that again? It's hard to see the origin then or something like that? But, you know, my belief is that they would have originated outside of the BPS, absolutely. And particularly one of the, the posts seems to be somebody at a firing range, a shooting range. Does that come across as a threat to these individuals that are you know, being called certain names in the posts? Uh, I definitely think that the uh, just the circulation of the information themselves put pe puts people's lives in jeopardy. You know, it just, it, it just raises the temperature, the threat, um, and, and tensions around the individual, and that remains a concern. And we hear constantly the message from yourself with regards to, you know, you need the community to help with the work that you do. Where does this leave that message when, when you have something like this being posted and people being, you know, claims being made against individuals that may or may not have given information to the police? So that's absolutely some of the reason why I'm here today. I want to reassure the public that we take their information very seriously. We hold it in strict confidence and we have measures in place that are really designed to um, protect people as they share their information um, with us. So you would encourage people if you have information to continue sharing? Absolutely. You know, absolutely. You just want to reassure the public that we do protect information and we do protect individual. And if you've got some concerns as you're sharing that information, that's part of the discussion that we want to have so that we can re uh, reassure you. I appreciate it. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you. And Mr. Levy here, uh, no further questions. Thank you very much for attending this afternoon. Your assistance in disseminating this information is greatly appreciated. Thank you. Thank you.